Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I'm finally again resuming my let's play of Pokemon 3D. It's been so long, I barely like well I know where I'm at, I'm in the the, the rocket hideout, obviously. Okay, and stuff's starting to vaguely come back to me now, so I think I know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to battle this person. Hopefully I have a strong Pokemon out front in the uh, at the front of my party because I kind of forgot to check that. <laughs> it's been so long since the last part I've done that I just don't really remember who I have out first. And, uh, well, I guess I'll be fighting Executive Petrol. I'm not even really sure what she has. I feel like she might have a Gloom. Nope, I was pretty far off on that, that guess. Um, I'm just gonna use Fly. This isn't actually a horrible matchup. Oh, no, that's not a bad matchup at all. That what? Okay. <laughs> That, I was about to say that worked out really well, but that almost killed me. But it's okay, because I kill up and see that easily. And I get to grow another level, so that's fantastic. So I really need to be more consistent with how I do my videos. I've just been kind of... I do have a slight confession. I've been... I don't... I've been somewhat busy, I guess, but that's not re <laughs> really an efficient... Yeah, or not efficient. That's not even the right word choice. Uh, sufficient. That's the word I was looking for. Pretty close sounding, but... Yeah, sufficient excuse, because I've mostly just been kind of uh, messing around. I bought a few new games recently and such, and I've just been playing those more than I've been recording my other games and such, so I'll try to not be so lazy anymore. Although, again, in my defense, I have been very slightly busy, and I'll probably be kind of busy later on this week. Probably won't be too many videos this week, but I would assume that starting next week, um, you know, I'll, I'll start doing videos more regularly. I can't guarantee that Pokemon 3D videos will be more regularly because I don't know when the next update for this will come out. But, you know, some of my other stuff, I guess, if anybody, <laughs> if anybody cares about any of my other stuff or whatever. Anyways, though, I actually realized that I haven't used Raticate in a long time. Or, well, it seems like a long time at least. But, uh, because I forgot that he had, like, Rock Smash and Sucker Punch and all that. Uh, that was kind of nice. So, and also that coughing actually did a fairly decent amount of damage to me. But, uh, not, you know, nothing I couldn't handle, obviously. None of my Pokemon fainted. That's, like, a first for, like, a major battle. Usually, like, half my Pokemon die, I feel like. Not, not half, but that's a, that's a slight over-exaggeration. So anyways, I'm going to get the, the the real, the main passer, or whatever you want to call it, from this Murkrow here. Hail Giovanni. Also, I've always thought that was really weird. I don't understand why this Murkrow can evidently talk. Like, I don't understand if he's supposed to be like a parrot and he's just repeating the password or whatever. Or, or what, but like, I just was like, okay, evidently nobody notices that there's a, a Murkrow locked up in here that can talk English. Or whatever language you have to be playing this game in, I guess. I guess not specifically English. But, uh, yo, actually. these I, At first I thought these staircases just led both up to the same place, but I'm pretty sure they don't. I think this is like a shortcut or something, maybe. Perhaps I lied. It's been so long since I've done this. I think I might have gone the wrong way. Or, I don't... Uh, let me just check this out. The other way. Because that's the way I actually came down, I think. So this might be the shortcut way. Oh, oh no, but there's a there's a TM here. That's perfectly acceptable by all standards. I think it's like Snatch or something. Something that I, or maybe it's Taunt. One of the dark moves or whatever that I usually don't teach to my Pokemon in this game, or Torment or something. There's, there's, a, there's like the, that's like the trio of, well, Taunt, I, I mean, obviously has competitive uses, but like Snatch and I wonder if that'd be an interesting move to use, because uh, I think it like steals like any kind of non-damaging, like either healing or stat boosting uh, type move or whatever. So I haven't even like seen it used that much in the actual games themselves. I just feel like it's one of those moves that kind of gets thrown by the wayside. Oh hey, what do you know? Something else? An antidote or full heal? Okay. Um, kind of gets thrown by the wayside, kind of like, uh, I'm trying to think of another example of, of a move that just doesn't really ever get used, and I think I just went right back up the stairs that I just went down. Um, now wait, was that the stairs that I want to, 
Oh my god, no, wait. Yes, okay, so I'm going down here. I think this is right now. No. I had it, no, I had it right, okay. I'm dumb. It, okay, it is these stairs. And... Before I advance any further, first of all, I'm gonna switch these guys. Then I'm going to... Use one of my 50 billion Moo Moo Milks on Pidgeotto. And do I have any more um, potions? I do. I'll just throw that on Raticate. Um, yeah. Well, Rock Smash isn't even really used much either. I mean, that's kind of a poor example. I was just thinking that because I have that Raticate, though. Or my Raticate knows it or whatever. I mean, it's an HM, obviously, but that's pretty much all it's used for. Hold it right there. And here come two more people. But it's okay, because Lance is going to come and help out. And I don't even remember which, uh, which one. I think... Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was, uh, that was interesting. I'm trying to think which one we actually fight. I think, I was gonna say, I think we fight the, the red-haired guy, the, the admin person guy, whatever his name is. Um, Executive Ariana. Oh, that's a, it's a, I think it's a woman. <laughs> that might be, uh, because I think, yeah, okay. I don't know, uh, I guess now that, now that I realize that, you know, I noticed that, that well, earrings aren't necessarily designating don't necessarily designate a gender or whatever, but uh, I, I can kind of see how it's a female now. But also, that Arbok is humongous. Like it's like for the most part, I feel like these sprites are pretty like scale or like they seem scaled. Like you know, Onyx and Steelix are pretty big, and like Bell Sprout and stuff. And shoot, I wish I knew what Pokemon he was sending in. I should have paid a little close. Okay, Murkrow. I wonder if it's the talking one I encountered earlier. Anyways, though. Um, what was I even saying? Oh, yes, about the, this person. Yeah, see, like, Murkrow is smaller. But Arbox was, Arbox was, like, huge. And I didn't think, I mean, I know Arbox, like, kind of big, maybe. But I didn't think he was, like, that big, by any means. So, whatever. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Again, I feel like I'm, like, niching all these things about, like, com you know, that come off as probably sounding like complaints. Which I guess they are, in a sense. I just don't necessarily, like, mean it in a overly critical manner. Like I would if I was playing through like a regular game, because obviously, you know, this is all just fan-made. Also, this is pretty, pretty good. Like I said, I mean, obviously all of the well, I don't know about all, but it seems like all of the items, even obviously the hidden items or whatever, seem to be implemented into this uh, into this game so far. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. I mean, I understand why it would take so long to get these updates out and such. So, you know, I can't really complain about any of that, I guess. Anyways, though, I'm going to actually probably wrap up this part after I do my favorite part of this level, which I don't actually know why it's my favorite part. I was like, all you do is fight um, some electrodes, and so I don't know why I enjoy this so much. I guess, I guess it makes me come off as seeming a little sadistic or something, but... I just, uh, oh, that looks so cool. Well, okay, it doesn't look that much different than it really does, but I'm just, like, impressed that that's actually what it looks like. Also, I should probably... Like, I'm tempted to leave for Alligator because they have a tendency to blow themselves up, and I don't want my Weeping Bell to just die. Also, for some reason, I like catching these. Like, the Electrodes here, or at least one of them, I guess. Not all of them, but, uh... Yeah, okay, they're not as strong as I thought. I thought they were all, like, level 30. So this isn't going to be... I should have, uh... I was going to say, he's faster than me, and then I realized how dumb of a comment that is, because, uh, obviously, Electrode is, like, the whatever... 4th or 3rd or 5th or 6th or something fastest Pokemon or something. I don't even know. I just know he used to be, like, incredible, like, the fastest, maybe? In Gen 1, I think. And then, I know Ninjask is faster. And... I don't even know. Something else, maybe? I don't know. I don't, I don't know all these random stats like I used to, but uh, yeah, that was that was easy. So just two more left, but but yeah, in, in uh, like the original Crystal and even like the remake games, the Heart Gold and Soul Silver, or whatever, I for whatever reason have a uh, 
just feel like catching one of these. I just feel like it's kind of cool. I don't even know what move it used. Um, I mean, I'm like just like completely spacing out. I'm, or, I mean, I'm not spacing out. I'm just like more focused on my conversations today as opposed to wh what's actually going on in the game. But uh, it was probably Sonic Boom or something if it did that much, but whatever. And also, I'm kind of surprised they haven't woken up. Like, they've been asleep the entire time that I've put them to sleep, which is kind of kind of awesome and completely in my favor. Anyways, though, I don't think I'm actually going to try to catch them just because I don't really feel like it. Which just completely contradicts what I just said, but uh, about how I always feel like catching one of these. But, uh, same thing with, like, the Red Gyarados. I just, like, I was like, eh. <laughs> I don't really have any, like, overarching uh, ambition to catch these. Although, I still can't believe they're only at level 23. I thought I could have sworn that they were at, like, a even level or something. But whatever. I just realized, too, that I'm going to have another gym battle for this. And I don't have a fire type or really, or a ground type or fighting type or any, or rock type or whatever else is good against uh, ice. And there's something else, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Steel? I think steel is good against, uh, might be good against um, ice. I feel like there might be something else. Maybe not. But uh, I'm sure that'll suffice. Ooh, su oh, sweet scent. I was so excited because I was getting ready to learn a new move. And then I was like, ah, it's sweet scent. Now that that's like, that it has like one use. Or one use that I use it for, I guess I should say. And that's uh, to like lure um, like wild Pokemon. And really I only use that to uh, get like the, the legendaries that roam around or whatever. But yeah, it, all it does, I think, is I think it lowers evasion. So well, that's not like a, eh. It's just I don't know, <laughs> too much of a bother to use, I guess. And I should take. What, oh, I think it's a. Oh, I thought you said, but you don't have any need for it. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure I have a need for a new HM. But I, realized, I, I just it dawned on me that he said I don't have any need for it, as in he doesn't. But uh, so it was Whirlpool, okay. I couldn't remember if it was Whirlpool or Waterfall, and I knew that I knew one of them you get in uh, you get in the Ice Path, which is going to be coming up after the Radio Tower episode and whatnot. But for now, uh, I'm going to be taking on the Mahogany Town Gym, which previously I couldn't uh, couldn't access because there was some guy standing in the way, I think, or something or another. Hey, cool! The teleportation pad worked. Oh, that was so cool! Oh man, I really want to go back there and see what that looks like in third person. But I don't want to go through the Pokemon traps again, so I'm just going to have to pass on that. I'm such a lazy person. Like I said, I haven't done any videos recently because I've just been like messing around and playing new games and stuff. And I haven't, uh, I didn't want to go back and, you know, I kind of wanted to see what it looked like in third person, but I'm just way too lazy to do that. So instead, I'm just going to go ahead and heal up here. And I'm just going to save the, the gym for the next part, I think. So that seems like a sufficient sufficient reason to go ahead and end this part here. Although I'm going to actually check my Pokemon real quick before I end this part. Because I'm sure I'll probably forget next time. And see if there's anyone... Well, yeah, I definitely don't want, uh, want cool roots out there to take on this gym. I mean, I guess my... Oh, well, I do have Rock Smash, but I mean, like... I mean, look, let's be real here. Like, that's actually going to do anything. Um, I want to use, like, Flaffy or someone. You know, I don't know what level Ampharos learns Power Gym, but perhaps I should do some, like, crazy grinding and evolve my Flaffy and get it to learn Power Gym. That would be an effective method. Or... I mean, or I could just go with Fraligator <laughs> and just power through the gym with him, basically. Because, I mean, at least he can take the Ice-type moves. I mean, I hate to use him because he's already, like, my strongest guy. But, yeah, well, I'll just figure it out next part. So, wait, hold on. I just want to point something out. It's raining right now. But when I <laughs> when I pull up the menu, it just stops raining. Like, okay. I want to see if it's still... Yeah, it's still... <laughs> it's like, alright, I can just freeze time completely. I guess. All right. Anyways, though, that's enough of that. And I forgot that it's a 
it's more annoying to turn in third person than it is in first. So anyways though, uh, as always, um, if you guys like this video, I would really appreciate you leaving me a like and potentially subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so and you want to be uh, notified of future videos and content and such. And uh, yeah, so, oh, thank you, Java update available. I swear that thing comes up every day. And I'm, again, another example of my laziness. I never do anything with it. So anyways, though, before I got interrupted there by that stupid notification, um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks again for watching.